in the quest for boundless opportunities, fulfilling relationships, a healthy body, a forgiving heart, a clear mind, and financial security, we often stumble on an invisible hurdle, the disquieting inner voice that so often echoes with negativity. It's that nagging companion that tells us we're not clever enough, not robust enough, not worthy of the life we yearn for. This unseen adversary wreaks havoc, sowing seeds of anxiety and depression, all while thwarting our pursuit of the life we deserve. It's time to wrestle back control over this inner voice to soothe its caustic chatter and transform it into an ally rather than a saboteur. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey of mastering this inner voice is no simple feat, yet it's indispensable, transformative, and life-changing. Your inner dialogue is the key that unlocks the treasures of life. It crafts your reality, and it can either empower or sabotage you. Negative self-talk is like a parasite that feeds off your dreams and aspirations, leading you down a dismal path. But the good news is, you possess the power to change it. When you allow the negative voice to reign supreme, you've already laid the groundwork for your own defeat. Let's draw inspiration from the sagas of those who tame their inner doubts. Take, for instance, the brilliant inventor Thomas Edison. In his relentless pursuit of the electric light bulb, he endured thousands of failures. If he had heeded his inner negativity whispering, you can't do it, the world might have remained in darkness for far longer. Instead, he declared, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work, persisting until he succeeded. Consider the remarkable journey of J.K. Rowling, the creative genius behind the beloved Harry Potter series. Her life was marked by hardships, battling financial struggles, and depression as a single mother when she embarked on her literary journey. Her inner dialogue could have easily been tainted with despair and self-doubt. Countless moments could have whispered, you can't do this, or you're not good enough. Yet, she pressed on, dedicating every available moment to her writing. Even in the face of multiple publisher rejections, she persevered. What if Rowling had succumbed to her negative inner voice? What if she had allowed the whispers of, you'll never make it, to conquer her spirit? The enchanting world of Harry Potter might have remained undiscovered. Rowling's story underscores that mastering your inner dialogue and nurturing self-belief can lead to unimaginable triumph. In her words, anything's possible if you've got enough nerve. When you control your inner dialogue, when you affirm that you can succeed even when the world seems skeptical, your potential knows no bounds. Now, let's delve into the categories of negative self-talk and unravel strategies to conquer them. Filtering. This brand of self-critique amplifies the negatives while filtering out the positives in a situation, as if you're wearing glasses that only reveal shadows. For instance, you might receive feedback on a presentation with nine glowing reviews and one critique, yet you fixate solely on the negative, convinced your presentation was a disaster. Remember, there's good to be found in every situation, however small. Personalizing. When things go awry, do you habitually point the finger at yourself? Personalizing is the act of attributing external events to your perceived shortcomings. Imagine a work project falling behind schedule. You immediately assume it's entirely your fault, disregarding multiple contributing factors. Recognize that not everything is within your control. Catastrophizing. Catastrophizing is the art of anticipating the worst outcome. It's peering into the future through a lens of doom and gloom. For instance, if you miss a payment on a minor bill, you instantly imagine your credit score plummeting, your dreams of home ownership vanishing. Prepare for the worst, but hold on to hope for the best. 
Your thoughts mold your reality, so let them be a source of inspiration. Polarizing. You're inclined to perceive things as either flawless or disastrous. For example, if a new recipe doesn't turn out as expected, you might jump to the conclusion that you're a terrible cook destined never to create a decent meal. Acknowledge that life is a spectrum, a space for growth and learning from both failure and success. The next time you catch yourself in a cycle of negative self-talk, pause and reflect. Am I magnifying the negatives and neglecting the positives in this situation? Am I unfairly blaming myself for something beyond my control? Am I envisioning the worst case scenario? Am I viewing this matter in stark black and white terms? If you answer yes to any of these, take a step back and contemplate how to shift your mindset from negativity to positivity. Listen to your inner voice. What's it saying? Is it a source of positivity, encouragement, and inspiration? Or is it laden with doubts, fears, and insecurities? Record these thoughts. Acknowledge them without judgment. This marks the beginning. Challenge negative thoughts. Remember, they're not facts, merely opinions forged from past experiences and fears. Challenge them. For every negative thought, craft a counter thought that's positive. Replace I can't with I can and I will. As Mia Yamanuchi aptly put it, the way you choose to think and speak about yourself is a choice. You may have spent your whole life talking about yourself negatively, but that doesn't mean you have to persist. Don't tell yourself anything you wouldn't say to your dearest friend. We often utter harsh words to ourselves that aren't fair or true. If you miss a promotion, be gentle with yourself. If you forget your car keys, extend kindness to yourself. We're all fallible, imperfect, and occasionally have off days, but it doesn't make us unworthy. When friends cancel plans, it's not a reflection on you. It's often a matter of their own circumstances. Avoid taking things personally. Strive to shed the burden of perfection. Leo Tolstoy wisely remarked, If you look for perfection, you'll never be content. The pursuit of perfection invariably leads to failure, as no one can attain it. Instead, aim for progress, not perfection. An incessant quest for flawlessness invites negative thoughts to creep back in. Refrain from seeking constant approval or trying to please everyone. It's a quest doomed to disappoint. Engaging in repeated mental rehashing after an argument isn't healthy. To halt negative self-talk, see striving for perfection. Comparing yourself to others reignites negative thinking. Avoid it. There will always be those seemingly surpassing you, and that's perfectly fine. Focus on your own journey and progress, not on how you stack up against others. Be content with what you have and desist from endless comparisons. Cultivate gratitude. In moments of negative thinking, reflect on the things you're thankful for. Family, friends, your home, health, and more. This practice can boost your mood and foster positive thinking. Your mind is akin to a garden. What you sow will flourish. Begin planting seeds of positivity, strength, love, and courage. Cultivate mindfulness through meditation or simple breathing exercises. Be present in the moment and release any negative thoughts that hold you back. Surround yourself with uplifting people, books, music, and experiences that nurture your spirit and align with your newfound mindset. Mastering your inner negative dialogue doesn't occur overnight. It's an ongoing process that demands patience and practice. Persist in your efforts, make it a daily ritual, and gradual transformation will become evident. The next time you catch yourself enmeshed in negative self-talk, don't ignore that inner voice. Respond with kindness and understanding. This is the path to self-forgiveness. I hope you found today's discourse valuable. If you wish to support my endeavors, please share this with your loved ones and share your thoughts. May divine love forever accompany you.